the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hi everyone and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the offset function in Excel. So the offset function is part of the lookup and reference group of functions in Excel. So if you jump up to the formulas ribbon, you will find this little function located in the lookup and reference drop down. And there we go. There he is in there. Now, what offset enables you to do is to return a result from a specific cell or range of cells that is a specified number of rows and columns away from the cell you have specified. Now, again, that's quite hard to visualize by me just saying that. The best way is to look at some examples. So let's start out by looking at a very basic form of offset. So on the screen here, I have some sales figures for the North, South, East and West regions over a 12 month period. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the offset function to obtain the sales figures for July for the West region. So essentially the figure I'm looking for here is this figure 679. Now in cell G3, I'm going to type in equals offset and open my bracket. Now the first argument here is reference. What is the starting point? Now this is essentially where your mouse is clicked, the cell you're starting from, and that could be anywhere. Now in this example, I'm going to say that my starting point is cell A2, comma. The next argument it's asking for is rows. So I'm looking for all sales for the West region for July. So how many cells do I need to count down in order to get the rows? Well, I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm counting down seven rows, comma. How many columns across? Well, I'm looking for the West region. So one, two, three, four for columns, comma, height. So this is where you can specify how many cells you want. So I'm just looking for one cell. I just want the figure 679. So my height is going to be one cell and my width is also going to be one cell. Close my bracket, hit enter, and it gives me 679, which is exactly the answer I was looking for. So let's get rid of this and let's look at another example of offset. And this time I'm going to combine it with the sum function. And what I want it to do is I want it to look for two cells. So I want it to look for these two cells and then I want it to add those two cells together, which is where the sum function comes in. I'm going to have my starting point is still going to be A2. So if I construct my offset formula, if I type in equals and I need to type in my sum first of all, bracket, I'm going to do offset because remember anything that you put in the brackets is what it's going to do first. And I want it to find the location of these values first before it sums them. So now we want our reference. What is our starting point? It's going to be a two comma. How many rows am I moving down? So I want to essentially sum C4 and D4, and that is two rows down. How many columns across? Well, I can see that that is one, two, comma, the height. Now I still want the height to be one cell, so I'm gonna type in one, comma, but this time, because I wanted to sum together two cells, my width is two cells wide. So my width is going to be two. I close off my offset and then I close off my sum. Hit enter and it's going to give me the total of these two cells. And again, if you don't believe that, then you can just do a quick sum calculation to check. Let's just add these two together. And there we go. Two, four, seven. Five. Now it's also worth noting that you can use offset with negative numbers. And again, this relates to your starting point. So for example, now I want to use the offset function to return the value for July for the South region. So we're looking for this figure just here, but this time my starting cell or my reference cell isn't going to be cell A2. 
it's going to be cell A13. So I want to count back in my rows, and this is where we use a negative number. So let's construct our offset. My reference, my starting point is A13, comma, how many rows? Now I'm looking for July, so one, two, three, four. I'm going back four rows, so my row is going to be minus four, comma. How many am I counting across? I'm counting across two, comma, and I just want the one cell, so my height is going to be one, and my width is going to be one. Close off my offset, hit enter, and it gives me 481, which is exactly what I was looking for. Now, what about if I want to return multiple values with offset? You can definitely do that as well. So what if I wanted it to return all of the values from the south region from April down to September? I want all of these returned using my offset. So again, very simple. I'm going to type in equals offset. This time I'm going to choose my starting point of A3, comma. How many rows am I moving down? I'm going one, two, three. How many rows am I moving across? Well, I want the southern region, so that's one, two, comma. Now, what's my height? Now, I want it to return multiple values. So how many cells do I have here? I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So my height is six cells, comma. My width is still just one cell. Close my offset, hit enter, and it pulls back those figures. And as you can imagine, you can do exactly the same, but going across. So if this time I wanted to pull back all of the figures for all of the regions for July, I could do something very similar. I just need to modify one of the options. So let's do equals offset, open bracket. My cell reference is going to be A3 again. I'm going to say comma. We're going to count down one, two, three, four, five, six. Comma. How many columns am I going across? Well, I'm only going across one in this example. Comma. My height is going to be one, but my width is going to be one, two, three, four. Close off my offset, hit enter, and it's now giving me this row of figures. Let's look at one more example where we have a slight variation. This time I'm going to pull back two rows. So I'm going to pull back this range just here. So let's construct our offset. I'm going to say equals offset. My starting cell, my reference is going to be A3, comma. How many rows are we counting down? One, two, three, four, five, six, comma. How many columns are we going across? I'm going across one, comma. What's the height going to be? Now, well, this time that's going to be two, comma, the width is going to be four because I want all of the regions. Close off my offset and it pulls back those numbers. So the only adjustments we really made there was the height. The height is two cells in this case, and we have four cells as the width. So there we go. Very simple and straightforward. You've seen a few examples there of how you can utilize offset. So maybe have a think about how you can incorporate that or how it might be useful in your day to day work. I hope you found that helpful. That's it for this video tutorial, and I will see you in the next one. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.